In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the concentration of electrolytes. The question reads, the laboratory tests for a patient indicate a blood calcium level of 8.8 .8 milliequivalents per liter. How many moles of calcium ion are in 0.50 liters of blood? Now before we begin, by definition in chemistry, an equivalent is the number of moles of an ion in a solution multiplied by the valence of that ion. That will come in handy later on, but first I want to start off by multiplying 0.50 liters to 8.8 .8 milli equivalents per liter because what that will do is give me the milli equivalents. So I'll take 0 0.50 liters and multiply that to 8.8 .8 MEQ at the top and 1 liter at the bottom. Notice that the liter unit will cancel out giving us MEQ, milli equivalents. Then I want to convert milli to non-milli units, so I'll multiply this by, remember that 1,000 milli equivalents is equal to 1 equivalent. This unit now will cancel out with this unit, giving us the amount of equivalents. And we'll need this for the next step. First, we'll multiply these out. 8.8, .8, so 0 0.50 times 8.8 .8 times 1, but we don't need to show that, divided by 1,000, gives us the following number, 4.4 .4 times 10 to the power of negative 3. So 0 0.0044 equivalent. As I mentioned earlier on, by definition, to find the amount of moles per equivalent for an electrolyte, such as a calcium ion, recall that calcium is Ca2+, so we can say that one mole of calcium is equal to two equivalents. At this stage, we can take 0 0.0044 EQ and multiply it to this conversion ratio. And this will give us the amount of moles of calcium. Watch, this cancels out with that. And we'll take this number divided by two and we end up with 2.2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 to the correct number of significant figures. 2.2 times 10 to the power of negative 3 moles of calcium. Part B in the question asks, if chloride ion is the only other ion present, what is its concentration in milli equivalents per liter? Now if the concentration of calcium is 8.8, .8, as given in the question, then the concentration of chlorine must be 8.8 .8 as well to balance the charges. So we can conclude that this is 8.8 .8 milli equivalents per liter. Question 2 reads, a lactated Ringer's solution for intravenous fluid replacement contains 109 milli equivalent of chlorine ion per liter of solution. If a patient received 1250 milliliters of Ringer solution, how many moles of chloride ion were given? This is somewhat of the same as question number one, except we have to do it in a different order. So we've been given 109 milli equivalent of chlorine per liter, and we need to take this number and change it into liters so that we can multiply it to this ratio. That's not hard to do. To go from milliliters to liters, you divide by 1,000, so we should end up with 1.250 liters. I'll multiply this ratio to 1.250 liters. That will cancel out with that, giving us milli equivalents. And just as before, we want it to go from milli equivalents to equivalents. So we multiply this by 1,000 milli equivalents per one equivalent. That ensures that we end up with equivalent. So using our calculator and starting from the left side, 1 times 109 times 1.250. 109 times 1.250 divided by 1,000 and we end up with this number, 0 0.13625. Remember this needs to be to three significant figures, so I'll just place a dot right here. I don't want to round just yet. And that's in equivalent. They're asking for how many moles. Now, chlorine has a charge of negative 1, so it's 1 mole of chlorine per 1 equivalent. 
That cancels out with that, and our answer should be 0 0.136 moles of chlorine ions, or chloride ions. And there you have it, two examples on how to calculate electrolyte concentrations.